you know that in today's service, the power limiting your advancements is going to scatter here today. Jump up and shout a powerful hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Begin to wave to the King of Kings. Begin to wave to him, beloved. Begin to wave to him. Begin to wave to him now. After waving to him, begin to clap your hands now. Clap your hands very well. Clap your hands very well. Clap your hands very well. As you are clapping your hands, you are clapping away sorrow away. You are clapping away sickness away. You are clapping away shame and reproach away. Somebody can never understand that. You are not here to joke. You are not here to play. Clap for the King of Kings. Makanda bo sitanda laba. Ribos of Yala Katanda. Clap your hands very well. As you are clapping those hands, you are bringing headache to the head of your enemy. Aha. Someone can do better than that. You can see do better. Oh, thank you, Father. 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 This is wonderful. Clap those hands very well. As you are clapping those hands now, your enemy is running to confusion now. Thank you, Father. 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 If you have testimony to share with us, don't be shy. I'm not waiting for you by the banner of love. Come out and share your testimony. So that God can do more for you. Thank you, Father. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Clap for him now. The man of war is here to deliver you today. He's here to turn your story around for you. He's here to release all those things that the enemy has stolen from you. He's here to put laughter into your mouth. He's here to make your destiny to shine very well. He's here to shame your enemies. He's here to make your enemy to confess. He's here to make your enemy to begin to run at the scatter. He's here to make your enemy cry. He's here to restore what the enemy has stolen from you. He's here to make you shine. He's here to bring comfort into your life. He's here to enlighten your course. Clap for him very well. As you are clapping for him, you are clapping away, poverty away. Somebody can see the You can see the Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. As many that have clapped now, God shall put laughter into your mouth in the name of Jesus. The Bible said in Zechariah chapter 1, verse 21a. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 21a. Then said I, what come this to do? And he spoke, saying, these are the horns who scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. I pray for somebody here today, if you can shout to the powerful amen to this prayer, any power anywhere that says your head will not be lifted up. They shall die.
I want to repeat it again. What if I took that? Any power anywhere that says your head will not attract greatness. There's a summer sudden death. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let's say this song to welcome the King of Kings now. And the I am that I am now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Miracle walker. You are the miracle walker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. You will do a miracle. A miracle today. Destiny change. Destiny change. Makanda lebo kapanda. You are the destiny change. Rimo sopende kapanda lebo koponde kelaba. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. You will do a miracle. A miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Oh yes, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. That you are going to encounter the miracle working God in today's service. Shout a victorious hallelujah! Thank you, Father. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Oh God, arise! And advertise your miracle power here today. Say, Oh God, arise! And advertise your miracle power here today. In the name of Jesus. Open your mother, sister. As you are saying it, yes, it is coming to your life. Oh, as you are declaring it, yes, it is entering your life. Oh, Open your mouth and shout it. Yes, Don't negotiate with the enemy. Don't negotiate. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I don't know what this, this prayer point is for. But pray it with only hunger. Say, powers that wants me to beg my enemy for help. Shout it loud again! You are a liar! Shut it out! You must not beg your enemy for help. Open your mouth now. Open your mother, sister. 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 Open your mouth. Aha, aha. Oh yes, enough, enough. Enough, enough. Back at the level, go 
upon the Kedaba. Rivers of Piana Katanda. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They will come to beg you. Oh, yes. Palika Panda Laba. You are serving a God that answered by fire. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for somebody in the midst. The part that is making life to be difficult for you. Shout three amen to this. The part that is making life difficult for you. They shall roam by fire. Aha. Pray this one with holy anger again. Paul and Silas prayed. And the doors of the prison opened. Shout this one loud like a warrior. Say, oh God, arise! And break doors open for my sake today. Yes, if I like to see this now, for me to read them, you don't want to pray that prayer sitting down. You want to to open, you want to be sitting down at that. It's a prayer of a shout. Take it militarily now. Say, oh God, arise! Over for my sake here today. Yes, if I cook the Let the door begin to break open. The door of your favor. The door of your greatness. The door of your breakthrough. The door of your money time breakthrough. The door of your good health. Begin to open now. Rekanebo Sophia. Kapani Ali Bokata. For in Jesus mighty name of prayer. Amen. Brethren, if you have testimony to share with us, our pastors are waiting for your level of material. If you have testimonies to share with us, our pastors are waiting for you. Banner of Love Auditorium. Come on, lift your flag of thanks. I above all necessities, wants, and thoughts right now. I'm going to worship Jesus from your heart. Come on, open your mouth. Because the Bible says, I will send forth my word, and it shall not come back to me until there's a few people that I sent it. Just open your mouth where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship your name. And you deserve our praise And you alone, you alone, you alone will praise Open your mouth, come on We worship My God is good I will lift him up I Everywhere Everywhere I go I will lift him up One second I Come on, I can hear you. My God is good. Lift your voices. I will lift him up. I everywhere I go. You say. I will lift him up. My God is good. I can hear you. I will lift him up. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. I will lift him up. Harmony. Harmony. Sing. Good. My God is good. We will 
Jesus lift him up. Higher, lift your voices higher. Higher, so lift him up. Say, higher, we bless your name, oh God. Yeah. Higher, so you are the King of Kings. Oh. Higher, we worship your name, oh God. Higher, we say your name be lifted up. Have testimonies to share with us. Our pastors are waiting for you at the banner of love. I want to show you to one road in Hallelujah. Can you look your neighbor? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor. I am a living testimony. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. My God, sing I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Come on, give him praise. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, praise his name. Of the love for his good. I will enter his ah, I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his
for you. Can you shout hallelujah? Hey!
coisas assim, cortado eu devo. Aleluia I've got victory on every side. I am a champion, champion in Christ. Hey, hallelujah, I am victorious. I am a, I am a champion, champion in Christ. I've got victory, I got victory on every side. I am a champion,
The name of the Lord. Elauda, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Tony Lane. Please, we have testimony to share with the children of God tonight. Uh, we have already interviewed you. Or oh, you are just coming to the means and you have testimony. Please see them at the testimony ground. Let those that we have interviewed come forward quickly. Let us close our eyes and let us pray. Almighty Father, we give you all the glory. With Lord tonight, let every long term infirmity and disease in any life here be swallowed up in victory tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every testimony that you are taking this day. We stop them in your blood. And we pray, Lord. We shall be stepping stone to greater testimonies in every life in the mighty name of Jesus. For Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Sunday to Lotty Mon Losha, Latima Bonny Church. So Moa, I pay more, Otipa, Hyon. So, but our Shetony Church, Tima Fidele, Moipe, Ion, Yashiwani, Tito, but more duper for a long week, in Coco Shelle, Ileo Cho, Itimofiwa Dupeni, and your Lua Loco. Hallelujah. As I said, this evening to bless the name of the awesome God that we serve on this mountain for what he did for her on Sunday. When she was about to leave the house, she forgot to unplug the pressing iron she used in ironing her clothes. But to the glory of the living God, by the time she got back home, though the iron was still plugged, nothing happened to the house. Everything was intact. For this that the Lord has done for her, she has come to say, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Olaito Florence. I came to thank God for what God did for me. I have a cause to travel out of Lagos. Throughout the time I travel, I'm okay. Nothing is wrong with me. On um, landing to where I was going, I'm okay. But immediately I step into the place I'm going. It was as if somebody put an um, axe, cutlass on my head. I started having a headache. I could not see, I could not talk. I was thinking that what is happening and anytime I'm traveling in the morning, I normally take man hour time in the morning just to hold myself that fire. But I was wondering, how could I take manage? And I could not even see. People around me was asking me what is wrong. I was telling them I'm okay. I just took another man hour water, I washed my face, I washed my head. I was looking at my time that four o'clock should just reach so that I can leave the place. So I immediately I left the place on getting to the guest house. I realized that the headache was much. I was not wondering, God, what will I do? I was just praying. Up to 10 o'clock, I remember that I have the preaching of Geo that I've downloaded on my phone. So I just put the preaching on autoplay. So as I was praying, I was able to sleep off. 
By the time I woke up around two, I just met Mommy Gio singing, and immediately he finished singing, Gio now said, you that woman, pray this prayer as if it's your last prayer point. You just have to pray it. Then point your right hand to the ground and say, art, art, art. Swallow up all enchantment, fashion against me. So I put the preaching on pause. So I was praying. I was mentioning all art, swallow charms, bewitchment, headache, everything. So I was able to sleep off again. So and I woke up in the morning. So on the center of the room, there was a big scorpion lying upside down on the floor. I wanted to run away. And I said, why will I run away? People know me as MFM, they will be laughing. No bush, no bush. So I didn't... You don't have any, no bush around where you are staying? No bush, bro. So I now say, okay, forgot to make the scorpion to be lying upside down. So I now use my shoe. I kill the scorpion. I cut it into pieces. I now pack it away. And immediately I killed the scorpion. I was okay. My BB was okay. My headache, everything gone. I said, God, thank you for making me to travel and come back home safely. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your victory shall be permanent in Jesus. Shall we hear what is like, Lord God, yes. I want to bring one to call up, 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 call Near for real lady, so that boy will shoot you, Lodu, or better say for one. There be weak by one till a month to wash him up. Watch a better sing by Dura, walk by Dura to see, Nick Batoya, walk by me mana, walk you for you one. Nick at that old Diago Mary, walk by the Lossy Le, walk by the one day Nero, maybe two one one, one or two, we want to see the near one, you shall not about no Lua, see I want to see So there, I like the car one, one more, one, you shall not shake it, one better see, what's on Sile, one go. Ni di ele ni wawa ti wong ba jura. Ti 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 wong fi gbagwe so lo. Ni ba ti wong fi ji. O di bi ago me ji oru. Ni ke te ti wong ji yi. Ni ya koko yi. A wong mama ni no lua ni ori oke yi. Ni wong koni lo wong. Ni ba wong si ti koni no to. Ni ba ba no lua e bere shen o shen. Ti wong si to wikwe. I wana biri ni. Ba a jura yi. Bi ikwa wong ni a jura ti wong ba ke yi. Ni o jua ye re. So wikwe kwa wong ba fo shen. Ti wong shen lo di simi. O ya ki wong ma ku. Wong ni a wong ba. A wong ti le to sa wikwe. Bogo a foshe, bogo ekwe, bogo edi, bogo e fori. Wani a wongba a jura nong di kikon. Wani a jura ni a wongba. Ta wong tu fi kwa jasun. Wani ba ta wong fi ji. Nyo wu lo joke ji. A wong wa ri wikpe. A keke kon. O ti wani a ni meji. I ya la ti a wongwa. Ti o si fi a yin lele. Wani bi a wong ti kokori. E ruba wong. Shwe kwa a wong ti wikpe. A wong ri o ke na ti shi a no la wong. A wong bo jo shojo. Wani a wong mo ba ta wong. A wong fi kwa. Wani le nye yi. Bogo e fori. A ti wong to sh Ni agwara awo gbogbo re pata ni o da won duro bi olorun ori oke yiwo won san no se ba so wi pe oluwa o se un many of us have been confessing confessing that by the strength of Jesus we are healed apo wa lati jawo wi pe ni pa ina Jesu amu wa lara ja if you believe that that confession shall work for you tonight bi e ba gba gbo pe jawo yi o se rise up and shout three loud amen e ti se ami meta to ni le with that same voice Close your eyes and shout this prayer point at the top of your voice. Arrow of sudden death. Shout it louder. Fired into my blood and into my bones. Shout it again. Backfire.
Shout it loud, hallelujah. The Jericho destroying, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the Jericho. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. Hallelujah. I am complete in him. Oh, yes, complete. Complete, complete. of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone oh i am complete oh yes complete
Take my 
For these manna water services and for what you have been doing in the midst, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Every prayer we are going to pray here tonight, let it bring testimonies to every life. Listen to them, lay your hands upon our lives in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Let's have a sing. God bless you. I want you to listen very deeply to these scriptures we're going to read. Before we now begin to pray. Listen very deeply. Touch not. Ham not. Touch not. Ham not. Let's look at these scriptures deeply. Let's start from the book of First John chapter five. The epistles of John. First John five. Eighteen to nineteen. Please note these scriptures very well. First John 5, 18. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keep it himself. Keep it himself. Keep it himself. And that wicked one touches him not. And that wicked one touches him not. And that wicked one touches him not. And we know that we have God and the whole world light in wickedness. Another name for this world is wickedness. The wicked one touched him not. In 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. 1 Peter 5 verse 8. First Peter 5 verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a ruling lion, walk it about. Walk it about. Seeking whom he may devour. The implication of that scripture. Is that it cannot devour everybody. There are some it can easily devour. In fact, it may not be impossible tonight. There are people here who are already chewing stick in his mouth. And he's already chewing them up. But there are some he 
cannot devour. They also avoid those words. Remember, we are speaking on touch not. I'm not. The first scripture said, and that wicked one touches him not. That is a prayer I want you to pray now. But it's after listening to what I want to tell you now. There used to be a working place in this Nigeria. A lot of wicked things used to take place there. It is called the Nigerian Railways. Somebody was promoted in the office. And there is a man there who felt he should be promoted. And he went to the person promoted. So I give you seven days. You will not last in this place. Third day, the man was dead. How did I know? I used to teach home lessons. And his children come to my home lessons. He told me that their father died. Therefore, they could not pay their lesson fees. Another person was promoted to that position. The same man went to threaten him. I give you seven days. In that place. Fifth day. The man was dead. Then the promoter another person again. Still not him. This time a believer. A believer. And so he went to the believer. I said, hey, you. I want to put there. I give you seven days. You will live. This believer was somebody who was also a troublemaker in court. Day one, he went to the man's office. My friend, I'm still alive. Day two, he went to his office. My friend, I'm still alive. Day three, we went to the man's office. My friend, I'm still alive. The four went to the man's office. My friend, I'm still alive. The five went to the man's office. My friend, I'm still alive. And this wicked man said, It's seven days. <laughs> Two days more, don't worry. But this man who kept looking for trouble to say, I'm still alive, I'm still alive, he too knew. That he had trouble sleep, so Macbeth shall sleep no more. Every night, Vigi. He prays every night, Vigi. The six was very tough. He fought throughout the night with some unseen scripture, creatures. On day seven, as he slept after prayer, he found himself in a big garden. There were plenty of people in that garden. It was surrounded by war. But looking outside the wall, he saw that man from his place of work. And he saw this giant dark creature standing by him. And he was pointing at him. He was telling that creature. That's the person I wanted to kill. That's the person I wanted to kill. And the creature faced him. He said, Why don't you pick another person? So this one you are pointing at. Say there is a mark on him. It's the mark 
of the Almighty God. Amen. So we are not allowed to touch this one. So they said to argue. The man said, but we have a covenant. The covenant is, I don't know whether I ask you to kill you, kill him. Why can't you kill this one? They were hugging. So we had a covenant. I made a sacrifice. I dissolved my own covenant. Why are you refusing to kill this one? You have been killing people for me. Why not this one? So listen. There is a mark on his forehead. You cannot see it, but I can see it. We are not allowed to touch this one. So, but since you are insisting, I will go there and try. So, but the rule is, if I cannot kill him, I come back and kill you. And the vision clear. Seven days, the man was still alive. Night day, the man who wanted to kill him died. I'm leading you to three prayers. Which I want you to pray without any compromise. Without any mass. Can you shout this loud and clear? Strong man! I have to kill me! Stop it! Hear the word of the Lord! Kill your sender! In the name of Jesus! Sister, sister, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh-huh. Those who have threatened you are in trouble now. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers that have formed covenant with death to kill me. Your time is up. Day. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. Riba Satan de Kayabo Shenderaba In Jesus' name we pray. Powers I want me to expire. Expire in the name of Jesus. Yes. Them we pray. All eyes closed. You that person over there. 
Your father was a witch doctor. He put incisions on your head. That incision on your head is contesting with your testimony. Right there where you are. Fire is coming upon the head to burn that incision to ashes. Yes, that's the power of God. That's the power of God. Jesus. Let her go. Let her go. You have been fighting her since she was a single lady. And you are still fighting her now. That your material in her head. I shake it off. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please sit down for a few minutes more. Now in Psalm 105, verse 14, Psalm 105, verse 14, if I were your shoes, I would write down these scriptures. <laughs> they are called immunity scriptures. They are, they are called vaccination scriptures. Psalm 105, verse 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah. He reproved kings for their sakes. Saying, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. It is not everybody the enemy can harm. It is not everybody the enemy can touch. In First Peter chapter three, verse thirteen. First Peter three thirteen. First Peter three thirteen. Peter Rokini, Oriketa, Eseketala. Please follow the scriptures. First Peter three thirteen. Peter Rokini, Oriketa, Eseketala. And who is he that we harm you? Yosi Sheyini be. If you be followers of that which is good. Be and you buy the only Tara si Omurere. Who is he? That will harm you. If ye be followers of that which is good. Now in the book of Zechariah. Second to the last book in the Old Testament. Zechariah chapter 2. Look at what it says in verse 8. This is a scripture you should memorize. Zechariah 2 8. For thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory that he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that touched you, touched the apple of his eyes. Touched the apples of his heart. It that touches you. Touches the apple of his heart. Maybe you now understand the mystery of the prayer of the psalmist. In Psalm 17, verse 8. You might have read that psalm. You didn't understand what the man is talking about. This, that's a mystery. Psalm 17, verse 8. Say, keep me 
as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Look at it again. In the book of Psalm. Psalm 16. Psalm 16. Verse 10. Touch not. I'm not. For thou will not leave my soul in hell. Neither will thou suffer than only one to see corruption. These are serious scriptures. With, I'm going to start putting them together just now. In Genesis chapter 20. Genesis 20. Genesis 20. Verse 3. Genesis 23. Somebody has taken the wife of Abraham. Look at what happened in verse 3. Genesis 23. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night. And said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man. For the woman which thou hast taken for she's a man's wife. So God told Abimelech, you are just breathing over. You are dead. Dead man. For you have touched those that you should not touch. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 4, this is a chain throughout scripture. That's I'm going from book to book to let you see. Isaiah 43. Verse 4. Isaiah 43 verses. Since thou was precious, my son, thou has been honorable, and I've loved thee. It fail. Therefore, will I give men for thee and people for thy life? That is, this is a decree that some people have to die, some people have to perish. The people that are to die with that, the people that are to die, that to perish, to perish. If you are supposed to be there, God replaces you with another person. This is what the Bible is saying. Use the person to the place. A brother was traveling home. He entered into this vehicle. He sat down there. All of a sudden, this strange hunger started. So he placed his Bible on his seat. I want to buy planting. I want to buy planting. But before he came, another person has taken over and they put his Bible on the floor. So he said, Ah. But I was here. I, this is my seat. The driver said, We have no time to wait for anybody. Go and take the one coming at the back. So that's how he went and sat down in that vehicle that was not full. And this one left. When eventually the one he took, when that one took off, and they got to the road, middle of the road. The vehicle that he didn't enter in the morning at Somersault. The place where he was that was taken over from him was the place that was on the, on the ground and squash the man there to death. So somebody was supposed to die that day. So God said, no. I will give men for thee. 
and people for thy life. It is in the Bible. I didn't write it. You can see it for yourself. I just touch this one. Don't touch this one. Don't touch not this one. In Matthew chapter 27, verse 19. Matthew 27, verse 19. Matthew 27, 19. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? So I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Now we have put together so many scriptures. Almost about ten of them. But they are saying essentially the same thing. There is a company of people. And my prayer tonight, may you be one of them. There's a company of people that no man can mess up with. There's a company of people I'm telling you now that heavens react violently. If there is any intention to harm them. There's a company of people that God does not joke with their welfare. God may not worry too much about the welfare of others. But there is a company of people God does not joke with their welfare. There's a company of people that violent angels they stand at attention to defend their interests. It comes to defend their interests. There's a company of people that heavens have zero tolerance towards anyone disturbing they are peace on what concerns them. There's a company of people that heavens will waste lives for their sake. Waste life for their sake. Company of people like that. I'm praying that you will join that company. That will be part of them. Some people who didn't like me, they travel outside Lagos to go and consult one big, powerful witch doctor. And he gave them a calabash. Take this to Lagos. Locate anywhere his vehicle will pass. And put the thing there. And so the three of them, they started coming with the calabash. At the express. They had an accident. Two of them died. Calabash crashed. You will have thought for somebody to have seen that is enough to just give up. You don't touch people like this. But the one that remained alive still went to report to the person who sent them. They went back again. To go and get a second calabash. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power going from shrine to shrine against you. From coven to coven against you. Against your family. Shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. I hope 
They shall be wasted. 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 In the name of Jesus. They went back. What by the law? They got another calabash. What to pay that mirror? They were no Again, bear the vehicle crashed. Oh, for Tawo, for Tuntan. Two dead. Mate, two cool. Calabash crushed. Eba, or no, four. They reported to the person who sent them. What to jump off and to run on his Go back there and get it again. They went there. But by the time they will get there, the man preparing the medicine, the witch doctor, when they got there, call him Baba. 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 They didn't hear any sound. They went inside. He was dead. By the side of his oracle. May your enemies die with their oracles. Your amen is not loud enough. There is a company of people that mentioning their names in covens subjects the coven to restlessness, confusion, and scattering. There is a company of people that cheating them or stealing from them is a taboo. Taboo, you don't cheat them, don't steal from them. It's a taboo to do so. If you do it, you get into trouble. Serious trouble. Serious trouble. Since I've been going for crusades, since MFM started, there's only one somebody has stolen my money. I was in my room. I just left my room to tell the pastor next door that it's time to go to the airport. Our room was side by side. I was only in the room for about two minutes. I left my envelope of money on the center table. By the time I got back from St. Pastor, let us go. Money had disappeared. Who took this money? We cannot wait. We have to go to the airport. So when we packed our things, and I went that stands to the reception. So, my name is Daniel Olukoya. My money has been stolen in my room in your hotel. Please note that they don't steal my things. But the person will not have peace until the money comes back. And then if the person is still here, the whole of your hotel will not have peace until the money comes out. They were scared. Quickly, they went into their computers. We fled for the airport. So, the person who stole it is one of their workers who had a master key that opened all doors. But he did not know that even with the master key in his hand, the computer downstairs can tell who entered the room, who did not enter. They knew the number of his own master key. So by the time they look at the computer, they found the man who went in. I was on my way to the airport. 
When they call me on the phone, man of God, we find the money. They just went straight to the person with the master key. My money was still fresh in his pocket. They took it and sent the money back to Nigeria. I'm praying for somebody here today. That any power assigned to waste you shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. Shall be wasted. 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 Your amen is not loud enough. Shall be wasted. 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 In the name of Jesus. There is a company of people that you do not offend because the resultant price you will pay will be massively huge. There are some people that you dare not bow mouth or slander them. If you do, the angels will ensure that the consequences are terrifying. There's a company of people to attack them or their family will be tantamount to self-destruction or suicide. There's a company of people God takes what you say about them and do to them very seriously. So, Saul was persecuting Christians. He was human beings he was killing. But by the time God spoke from heaven, says Saul, 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 why persecutest thou me? So he thought he was killing human beings. God said, it's me you are fighting. David understood this, this principle. This is why he refused to touch Saul. Though he had opportunities to kill him. But he knew that the Bible said, touch not my my prophets no harm. All those who attack true children of God have always been ruined by their God. All antagonists of God's children, they have given hellfire a big harvest. All those who have ever seen God's people, people like Pharaoh, they've always had themselves to blame. God has promised to stand by his people and to make them victorious over the wisest and the greatest enemies. You cannot fight against the saints without fighting against their God. There is no greater madness than for the weak hands of man to engage the Almighty in battle. If you strike a believer, you are striking God Himself. There is no one who has ever engaged God in a fight and you prosper. Anyone who has taken up a sword against the same God, he took up a sword against the people of God, they have always perished by the sword that they lifted up. This is a very serious matter. None have battled against 
Moses' sins who were not ruined by the God of the saints. Those who fought against Daniel were ruined by the God of Daniel. Divine judgment has been so hard on those who have opposed genuine children of God. Ask, ask Pharaoh. Ask Nebuchadnezzar. Ask Aman. Ask Saul. Ask Herod. Everyone is fed up with the wickedness that children of God are experiencing. And I declare upon any enemy attacking the children of God that your nakedness shall soon be revealed. In the name of Jesus. And the power of God shall force you to vomit that which you have swallowed. God has been telling you, you know spirits, to allow the star of that family to shine. But you have refused. The power of God will swallow you completely. And all the ill padlocks in your hand must be unlocked. You must allow all the caged pregnancy to come alive. It is compulsory for you to release those you are hiding as goats in the coven. And all your priests by your coven, by your shrine, we sack them in the name of Jesus. Your Babylon, Babylon shall fall and rise no more. It shall fall and rise no more. It shall fall and rise no more. It shall fall and rise no more. He shall fall and rise no more. In the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. Touch not. Harm not. This place I want you to pray. They are hard prayers. Non compromising prayers. Even if you don't feel threatened, please pray them. Pray them with a no nonsense approach. Jesus is here. His power to save, to heal, and to deliver is here. As we pray now, if you are in this meeting today, and you can still remember that one of the wives of your father issued a curse upon your life and the curse seemed to be manifesting. As we pray this prayer, find a way quickly to this altar. And on your knees, pray the way you've never prayed before. Polygamous witchcraft is a serious matter. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Yes! Hiring enemies against John. In the name of Jesus. I sleep. Bocatende 
Kaya Boshende Rabosanda. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Any mark on my body forbidding me from becoming great. Can you shout this loud? Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers leaking my secrets to the enemy. Don't do us. What are you watching for? In the name of Jesus. Please, this next three prayers. Lose your temper in the Holy Ghost. As you pray them. If you are afraid, you can keep quiet. Can you shout this loud and clear? Which doctors? I are to waste me. Before I leave this place, go to the people. Just yes. open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus, then we pray. You are that student and you are here. All of a sudden, it's as if they have removed your brain. That is, that is empty. You cannot retain anything anymore. Run quickly to this altar. And be on your knees. And pray the way you have never prayed before. For your brain to be restored. And to come back to its position. Serpents! Shout it loud. Pushing me backward. Anytime I want to move forward. Can I hear you shouting that? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, 
hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up. The result of this prayer will start for some people even right from inside the service. Say the battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Can I hear you shouting it loud? Not angry, not of your spirit. You are alone. In the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Command the battle to die. Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die. Silence. Don't say anything for now. Just keep silence. We have provoked so many powers into anger. Because we were not expecting the kind of prayers we are praying here tonight. It is because of those provoked powers. You will now shout this loud and clear. Let your voice show no mercy. Don't negotiate. Pass! Assigned to rubbish my destiny. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Quickly bring out your thanks and your offering for this meeting. Before we pray on our manna water. Thank you for the thanks and the offering. Good measure present falling over. Let it be our lot in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon your children here. In Jesus name we pray. As you shall speak up thanks and the offering. We listen to administration of
Potiphar. And tonight, it shall come to pass that the body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and the yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Destroy that yoke. Break it. 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 Yes. It's breaking. It's breaking. Shorty for Shorty for All of you are going to shout Jesus go. Jesus break my yoke Jesus break my yoke Three other times Are you ready? All of us will shout it Let's go Jesus break my yoke Jesus break my yoke Jesus break my yoke Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bring out our man of water and let's remain standing. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our man of water unto you, Lord. Let every particle of it become the blood of Jesus. Let every particle carry the fire of God. Let this water disgrace every scorpion. Let this water disgrace every infirmity. Let this water put to shame every assignment of darkness. Let this water bring progress and deliverance and healing. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of his flow into the water. The fire flow into the water. Anointing of power flow into the water. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord bless you some Zion. Make his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength and from glory to glory. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Every prayer request, our Lord, answer them by fire. The promise of touch not my nature. And do my prophets no harm. Shall be your Lord in the name of Jesus. Evil is not permitted to visit you. And you are not permitted to fail. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Yes, Jesus Christ. Lord of God. The super Sure. Goodness that must share all the days of our life. We shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Seven miracles receiving. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. Meet you. Vous regardez la télévision This 
This is MFM Television. Vous regardez la télévision MFM.